legacy began with a journey when Dawood Mawad set out from Lebanon, filled with the spirit of a pioneer. His destination was North America, where he would immerse himself in acquiring the craft of a watchmaker. Spending 18 years abroad, Dawood decided to bring his craft back home and open his new workshop. From there, he embarked on creating magnificent clocks and fashioning one-of-a-kind pieces. As a young apprentice, learning the trade next to his father, it was only natural for Dowd's son, Fayez, to take over the helm when the time came in 1940. Ten years later, Fayez carried Mawad's reputation to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. There, he was one of the earliest jewelers to embellish watches with precious stones and import luxury watch brands. As time passed, Fayez's sons continued the family tradition and brought their passion and skills together. Alongside his brother Robert, David co-managed Mawad divisions in Saudi Arabia and Lebanon, later becoming the house's diamond sourcing liaison in Belgium. A year later, the reins were passed to Robert, who had inherited the same extraordinary affinity, along with an entrepreneurial spirit. Beginning in 1970, brother Albert also made his mark in the family firm co-managing the Mawad divisions in Saudi Arabia and Belgium. Driven by the same passion, brother Walid contributed his expertise from 1974, nurturing public relations and handling operations in Saudi Arabia and Lebanon. Inside Mawad ateliers in Saudi Arabia, brother Rene's fascination for craftsmanship came to light from 1978, capturing the eye of the elite. Under Robert's leadership, in 1972, Mawad selected Geneva, Switzerland as a new base. Settled in the European headquarters, Robert Mawad soon began handcrafting luxury timepieces under the name Roberger. Seeking a greater exposure, Robert established a presence in Europe, Asia, and North America, with offices opening in New York City in 1975 a location that served as a diamond buying office. Robert also pushed the European expansion forward with a first boutique in Geneva opening in 1980, followed by others in Germany, France, and London. As the brand began to grow, a vertical integration became necessary. Mawad thus acquired manufacturing facilities, retail boutiques, and design studios in Italy, Switzerland, and France. At the heart of these cities, teams of artisans and connoisseurs came together to create works that earned accolades such as the Triumph Grand Prize of European Excellence in 1981. Adding to its global reputation, Mawad opened a production and colored gemstone sourcing facility in Bangkok in 1988, followed by an objet d'art lapidary factory a year later. Not long after, Mawad made its way to Japan forging a joint venture deal with Sogo department stores and establishing 31 Mawad boutiques in its outlets. The 1990s were also a decade of expansion for Mawad across the Middle East. Retail outlets were opened in Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and Lebanon, consolidating the brand's presence in the region. Throughout all of this time, Robert Mawad pursued some of the largest and rarest diamonds in the world. His first major acquisition in 1976 was the Mawad Lilac, a highly prized stone that was soon followed by the historic Tarashenko, renamed the Mawad Blue. In 1990, the acquisition of the Mawad Splendor was awarded a Guinness World Record for the most expensive single pear-shaped diamond in the world. A few years later, yet another acquisition made international headlines with the purchase of the star of Stanley Ho, Grand Lisboa Macau, the largest cushion-shaped DIF diamond in the world. In 2001, Robert Mawad made possible the largest diamond exhibit in Paris, bringing together a collection of period jewelry, famous stones, and centuries of history. In keeping with the family's desire to preserve a legacy, the Robert Mawad Private Museum came to life in 1992, 
representing a fascinating historic blend of Western and Oriental cultures. Yet another legacy took shape in 1997 when Mawad's support initiatives to the diamond industry were formally recognized through a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Gemological Institute of America and the naming of its headquarters in California in honor of Robert Mawad. Just as Mawad had enthralled the royalty in the mid-1990s, it brought an innovative twist to red carpet glamour. Hollywood's hottest stars, the likes of Angelina Jolie, Jennifer Lopez, Nicole Kidman, Eva Longoria, Amy Adams, and many more have chosen to sparkle in Mawad's fine jewelry. The world's top supermodels also had the chance to sport Mawad creations through a collaboration with Victoria's Secret in 2000. This collaboration earned Mawad a second Guinness World Record in 2003 for the world's most expensive bra. As time passed, Robert Mawad decided to hand over the business to fourth-generation co-guardians Fred, Alain, and Pascal. The brothers built on a living legacy and consolidated the Mawad identity to move from a multi-brand to a mono-brand. The newly strengthened identity was rolled out from 2010 onwards through new generation boutiques opened across the Middle East, Malaysia, and Singapore. New boutique collections have also been introduced, such as the top-selling Flower of Eternity collection launched in 2011. To complete the vertical integration into a diamond manufacturer, in 2012, Mawad formed the Premier Diamond Alliance, a subsidiary that enabled the sourcing of conflict-free rough diamonds as a DTC site holder. The establishment of Mawad Diamond Factory in Bangkok further strengthened Mawad's capabilities, enabling it to control the supply chain from sourcing to production and passing on the value to clients. In 2013, the launch of the Grand Ellipse Watch Collection marked the beginning of a new venture. Manufactured and assembled in Geneva, these luxury timepieces carry the Mawad signature and speak of the traditions of Swiss watchmaking. The last five years have also brought two more Guinness World Records with the Mawad 1001 Knights Diamond Purse, certified in 2010 as the most valuable handbag in the world, and the L'Incomparable Diamond Necklace, certified in 2013 as the most valuable necklace in the world. 125 years have passed since the inception of Mawad, yet this is only the beginning. Our promise of enchantment is stronger than ever, and the Mawad name will continue its legacy for centuries to come.